वेलकम यू आर लिसनिंग रेडियो सेंट्रल न्यूज आई एम विक्रांत डोगरा एंड नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल डेली रजिस्टर्ड 1568 केसेस ऑफ कोविड-19 एंड 156 डेथ्स फ्रॉम द वायरस इन द पास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स अ हेल्थ बुलेटिन सेड हियर ऑन ट्यूसडे द पॉजिटिविटी रेट इन द नेशनल कैपिटल इज 2.14 परसेंट वाइल द फर्टिलिटी रेट इज 1.66 परसेंट विद द फ्रेश इन्फेक्शन द एक्टिव केसेज हैव रीच ट्वेंटी बट अ टोटल ऑफ फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन पेशेंट्स ऑल्सो रिकवर्ड इन द पास डे द फ्रेश केस this came from a total of 73406 tests comprising 47494 rt pcr cbnaat true nat and 25912 rapid antigen tests conducted in the last 24 hours the total cases in delhi have reached 1419986 while the death toll now stands at 23565 as per the official data 17100 63 covid beds are available in the hospitals 6071 in dedicated covid-19 care center and 526 in dedicated covid health care centers the health bulletin said 54475 beneficiaries were vaccinated in the past day which included 40122 first doses recipients and 14352 who were administered with second dose cracking the whip on those involved in the sale of fake remdesivir injection the food and drugs administration fd haryana has busted a big racket involved in the sale of fake remdesivir infections in the state during month long raids conducted by the department as many as 11 accused have been arrested by the crime investigation agency cia while more arrests are likely to be made in the coming days giving details about the case a spokesperson of fda said that during investigation it was found that the accused were allegedly selling meropenem as remdesivir vials by printing fake stickers of ms hetero labs limited a pharmaceutical company in india that is producing the crucial drugs During the investigation it was revealed that Dilpreet Singh director of MS Elfin Drugs Private Limited situated at village Barson Tehsil Nagar district Solan in Himachal Pradesh was involved in sale of fake remdesivir he informed the spokesperson said the food and drug administration FDA but they has sealed the premises of the farm from where the said drug stock was recovered the delhi government started vaccinating the population between 18 to 45 year from my one but due to the shortage of vaccine the process was halted on my 22 International merchandise trade for the G20 reached record highs in first quarter of 2021 led by higher commodity prices while growth in trade in services moderated according to the report released today by Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD compared with the previous quarter in Q1 this year exports increased by 8% to 4022.9 billion dollars import during the quarter stood at 3973.9 billion dollars 8.1% higher than Q4 of 2020. Services export and import growth for G20 aggregated and estimated at around 4.4% and 2.5% respectively for the quarter ended on March 31, 2021. G20 countries exported services valued at 1,082.7 billion dollar, while import was recorded at 957.5 billion dollar. With the exception of the United Kingdom, all G20 economies including India recorded positive growth in first quarter with the depreciation of the US dollar and the related increases in commodity prices playing a role in the recovery from the COVID-19 lows. Prices of agricultural commodities including cereals and vegetable oils increased by over 10% in Q1 2021 while prices of metals are close to levels last observed in 2011. Argentina exports up 33.3%, Australia exports up 17.5%, Brazil exports up 14.7% and South Africa exports up 17.3% among the G20's largest exporters of those products have benefited from the rising commodity prices the pandemic related boom in purchases of electronics led to a surge in demand for semiconductors and integrated circuits along with several other factors this led to supply failing to keep pace with demand resulting in shortage and price rise 
in services while travel continued to be heavily restrained. The value of trade in transport services soared in Q1, reflecting the surge in both maritime and air freight rate with begin in second half of 2020. Trade in digitally deliverable services such as telecommunications, computer and business services continued to expand in Q1 2021, particularly in East Asia. Widespread increases in savings and higher volumes of transactions in financial products contributed to robust trade in financial and insurance services, especially in Europe and North America. In Q1 2021, according to report, exports of services increased by 4.0% in Germany and 3.6% percent in France, with financial and insurance services as well as transport driving the overall increase. Imports increased by 3.6 percent in Germany and 6.6 percent in France in the United Kingdom. Exports increased moderately in Q1 up 1.3 percent, while imports discreet by 3.3 percent. Services trade in North America recorded a slowdown in Q1 2021 compared with the previous quarter. Exports from the United States and Canada grew by 1.0 percent and 1.6 percent respectively, while imports showed slightly higher growth. On Tuesday, fell marginally by 14.37 points to close at 50,637.53 as selling was seen in power, bank X, finance, energy and utility stocks. While the Nifty rose by 10.75 points to 15,208.45. Extreme volatility was seen during the day as the Sensex opened higher by 271 points to 50,922.32. During the day, it was advanced by 310 points to 50,961.35 days high. In late trade, it was slipped by nearly 177 points to 50,474.34 days low before closing at 50,637.53 from its previous close. The Sensex registered days high and low at 50,961.35 and 50,474.34 points respectively. The Nifty recorded days high and low at 15,293.85 and 15,163 points respectively. The sectoral indices like power, bank X, finance, energy and utilities dragged the market. The mid cap was down by 0.31% while small cap rose by 0.26%. That is all for today's news bulletin. Stay tuned to Radio Central News for more updates.